Şaka mı yapıyorsun? Bana aşık değil misin? Aşığım. Ee? Ya ne bileyim öyle sayıklamalar falan. Karım rüyasında benim adımı bana olan aşkını sayıklarken benim hoşuma gidiyor. Yasmin, benimle evlenir misin? Şair yakaladı. Sahi mi? Hesap vakti geldi. Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Let's see together what will happen in the new episode. Does Dylan think someone else entered the room? Why couldn't Sevahir do anything to Miran? Will Hassan tell Sevahir what Dylan said? How will Baron find a solution to Dylan's delirium? What will happen when Baron tells Dylan that he is constantly talking about himself? Will Yasmin accept Harun's marriage proposal? Did Sevahir cause the poet to be captured? What will Baron and Dylan think when they see the mud on Miran's pillow? All this and more is now in this video. If you want Dylan to reveal that a stranger entered her rooms and Baron Sir to continue to be cautious even though he is caught, do not forget to like and share our video. Now let's move on to our analysis. Enjoy. When Dylan comes to Miran in a fearful and uneasy state, he will notice that the window of the room has been opened because he is paying attention to everything. When Sevahir hears Dylan's voice, he leaves the window open and runs away. But Dylan is very confident and aware that he closed the window and left because he took every precaution he could think of. That's why Ms. Azade will follow up on this incident and ask Ghoul and Baron if they opened the window of the room, so that nothing happens as she fears. This will become more frightening for Dylan when he asks, and none of them say, I didn't open it. As for Sevahir, when it happens to Miran, when he points the gun at first, his hands shake and he cannot hit. Then, when he decides to smother her with a pillow, he cannot resist Miran's sweet face and cannot bring himself to kill her. In fact, the moment he holds Miran's hand, he feels very bad and suddenly pulls his hand away. Later, when he hears the doorbell, he will have to escape before he can hurt Miran. While Dylan is talking to everyone to find out who opened the window, Hassan witnesses this. He learns that Sevahir cannot do anything and realizes that his target is Miran. When he uses this against Sevahir and tells him why he targets Miran because he is more of an innocent angel, a rift occurs between them. As always, Sevahir gets angry at Hassan for telling him not to interfere with my business, just do what I tell you. Since Dylan cannot find out who opened the window, he is now even delirious in his sleep. Baronessy both laughs and feels sad at this situation. To make Dylan forget this, he makes jokes and laughs, saying that you are talking about me even in your sleep. At the same time, she spends time full of love and lust and makes Baron Dylan tell her how he fell in love with her. Dylan is both embarrassed and pleased with what Baron said. As a result of these conversations, they get closer and become a little flirty. These scenes where mutual love confessions take place will smell like love. Harun thinks that Yasmin is the woman of his life, and thanks to these recent events, he becomes much more sure of this thought. And he doesn't want to waste time, like when he's late for a date, and immediately proposes marriage. Yasmin will be very happy when she sees Harun kneeling in front of her and making a marriage proposal with a ring. She will say yes to this offer without wasting any time. Afterwards, Harun will embrace Yasmin and they will experience their joy in this way. In order to get into the room, Sevahir told Baron about Sir's location, otherwise Baron would not leave the mansion. As a result, Baron returned to the mansion and Akif caught Commissioner Sir. Sevahir was very harmful from this situation. Because he couldn't harm Miran and he lost his life to Sare, his right-hand man. But he left a mark behind. Although it may not be noticed immediately, when Dylan picks up Myaren's pillow and puts it down, she and Baron will realize that it is mud. Baron will think that the repairman he already suspects may have entered the room and try to reach them immediately. Thus, he will go a long way to reach Sevahir without realizing it. 
Akif, the commissioner, will question Ser and Baron, the mechanics working in the mansion, and they will learn a few things. In this way, Baron can learn that Sevahir is still alive. Yes, my dear followers, I would be happy if you share your opinions and thoughts about this episode with us in the comments. For now, we have come to the end of our analysis. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.